How many times have you heard yourself or a member of your team saying, we can't do that here? Maybe not in exactly those words, but in some way identifying barriers why a particular course of action, task or goal could not be achieved. Well, I'm going to share with you a technique I use to develop a team's strength in problem solving. Through spending a bit of time thinking about what it is that stops you or your team achieving a particular goal, you'll create a better understanding of the areas for development within your team, as well as solutions to those problems. Starting from the bottom, consider the environment within which the goal or outcome sits. Does the environment provide the greatest potential for success? And do you have all the tools and resources you require? Next, consider what needs to be done to achieve the goal. What are the behaviours that need to be displayed? How should you be acting in this particular situation to achieve this goal? I often hear people say that they're not good at networking and selling themselves. When asked how they should be acting during networking, they're not sure, and therein lies the issue. With some clarity around how they should approach the networking opportunity, their confidence grows. The next step is to think about the how you would do that. What skills you need to develop if you don't have them already? Beliefs and values are vital to consider in problem solving. Often there are some limiting beliefs involved. For example, the statement, I'm not good at networking, can be reframed to, I just need to learn how to network. Finally, identity is crucial. Who do you need to be to achieve this goal? There's no point in me standing before you as a meek, nervous individual if I'm claiming to be able to support you to improve your confidence and overcome the challenges you're facing. So review your challenges and goals using these categories and identify where you need to focus your attention to achieve success.